Oh, God, we got to talk about this. Some real life stuff. What's going on over in Chaz or Chop? It's uh, that little experiment is turning into a nightmare. I mean, who would have thought? Who would have thought that uh, removing the police and having a place uh, ran by a bunch of whatever could be criminals? I mean, there's, there's people on drugs over there, people selling drugs over there, people that I mean, guns are everywhere over there. I don't even know if they. Or can even hold or, or use a gun. Uh, I don't know if they they could be a felon. You know, uh, felons can't legally possess firearms um, for a particular reason, right? They've already shown themselves to be uh, untrustworthy and unsafe. But here you have it. You have a place that is uh, policed by this guy named Raz Simon. Uh, and his little gang and uh, the John Brown Gun Club or whatever. So you have so no police presence. You have total chaos going down. And the other night there was a shooting. Someone died. Another person was wounded. And last night there was another shooting. What I understand is I don't think anyone died yet from it. But there's people wounded. It was a lot of shots too. And this is going to escalate. This is just going to continue. It's going to become little uh, Syria. It's going to become little Syria over there in Seattle. Unless the mayor or the governor does something to stop this. Unless they do something to stop this, this is going to become little Syria. This is like soy malia over here. But except the, the white soy boys, the white soy boys are getting kicked out. Because uh, they're not black. They're not black. That's actually happening, too. There's a mini race war going on in Chaz, as there is a, a mini race war uh, brewing in America, where if you are white, you need to get the fuck out. If you are black, you are now supreme. You, uh, it, you know, that's what's being pushed. That's what's being pushed. And some will justify it. Some will look the other way or some will even justify it. Say it's because of their ancestors or the past or whatever. It's like... That doesn't excuse. That does not excuse racism, you know. Um, people say, "Oh, black people can't be racist." Are you kidding me? I mean, black people are people too. Every human being has it in them to be racist. Every human being does. All right, that includes black people. Um, you know, Asians can be racist. Mexicans can be racist. <laughs> black people can be racist. And uh, but what I want to talk about here is. This video where there's some shootings going on in Chaz, more shootings. And the question I have, I have for y'all is what what is the mayor? What is the governor going to do? How many bodies need to drop before something happens? Um, Somebody's saying, can I walk to Pine and 13th? Um, yeah, I can walk up there. I do see, I do see some, um, oh, there's a shot. That's one shot. How many more shots do we hear tonight? Let's count. That was one, Shit. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They are popping shots. They are popping shots. It's, it's going to be a little war zone over there. The, you know. Was it the, the mayor that called this the summer of love? <laughs> it's the summer of war, man. It's the summer of chaos, summer of destruction. Summer of love, my ass. These people, these people are insane, flat out insane. And you know, they won't even let the police presence go in there to rescue their wounded people, right? Right? There's a video, I even covered it, where Raz Simon, whatever, was uh, pretty much complaining that the medics weren't going in there, that the ambulance wasn't rolling into Chaz. Well, before uh, paramedics go in there, they have to make sure that the place is secure. Because that's a lot of money in that ambulance. And it's two lives, three lives, right? They can be lost. So they need to make sure that it's secure over there. If not, they're not rolling in. This experiment, I think, has gone far enough. I think if the mayor wants to be reasonable, she should just cut the power here. These people, what I'm hearing, and I don't have a video of this yet, but they are going door to door, kicking doors in, demanding people to pay money to them 
For what? For what? The people in there are stuck in there. I mean, the mayor could do some sort of liberation project and send the police out there to, to save them. But they're not. They're not going to. Because the mayor doesn't care. The mayor doesn't care. The mayor does not care about her, her people. She doesn't. If she did, she would have done something about this sooner. The governor doesn't care. The governor, the governor didn't even know that this was happening. I don't know. What, what the mayor and the governor do all day. Apparently, it's not their job. Apparently, it's not their fucking job. I, I don't know what it could be. Because how, does the, how did the governor not know what was happening? How did he not know that there was like this Antifa Chaz thing in Seattle? How did he not know that? I don't even live there, and I knew that, right? It's crazy. All right. So, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I'll take it easy.